generation gardener with this wonderful company started by your great That's right, grandparents. Great grandparents. Yeah. So welcome, Devin. It's nice to have you here. Uh, Devin is now in his third season with us at QVC, mm -hmm. and uh, it's every year you get so much better at this, and uh, you, you're you. just so smart about plants. So we're going to talk about lemons. I love lemons for cooking, for garnishing, for just the way they smell. They're great for making lemonade and all kinds of beverages, and they are expensive at the grocery store. They really are. I mean, just one or two is crazy. So you can get your own lemons growing at home, even if you don't have a ton of outdoor space. This mm -hmm. tree loves to grow in a pot and will grow and stay its whole life in a pot. Mm -hmm. And that way you can bring it in when it gets really, really cold and have wonderful lemons uh, for part of the year, beautiful foliage and little white flowers for part of the year. Here's the only caveat. We are down to limited quantities of this lemon tree. It's popular every year from Roberta's, and we have sold through a ton of our inventory already. So, uh, Devin, take it away. Tell us all about it. I would love to. This is one of my absolute favorite plants because it doesn't matter where you live in the country, anyone in America can grow your very own Meyer lemon plant uh -huh. that's going to start to produce fruit for you this first season. No waiting around. Yes. I like it. You're going to be receiving a three-year-old plant that is ready to fruit for you outside in the summer, then indoors in the winter. These will fruit this season. This is always such a popular plant for us and it sells out every year. And it's our last citrus that we have this year, actually. Can, can I just divulge a secret? Well, for, first of all, fewer than 5,000 remain. So we are good friends with the Wallines, and our, my husband loves them too. So we always get together with these guys when we can, when we're not working, when they're in town in the mm -hmm. gardening season. And we have a favorite restaurant. These guys show up half the time with a bag of Meyer oh lemons. My God. And they give them to the bartender, who then makes us limoncellos and drinks. Yeah. And they it's because they are the best lemons. They yes. are so good yeah. they're like now nah, put those other lemons aside we brought our own yeah. so you will get plenty of delicious juicy lemons starting this first season look at all the juice that comes out of those guys yeah if you're unfamiliar with what a Meyer lemon is it's actually a cross between a normal lemon and a tangerine so it's so much sweeter yeah it doesn't have that puckery tartness right but it has so much juice you can see these just keep going and going. Have you ever had a lemonade shake up at the State Fair? That's what these lemons taste like. You want, they you, are so good. Can you make you me ready? a lemonade shake up? You ready? <gasps> get out. I, I knew you were going to get He is so Indiana. I just love this kid. All right, so he's making me the most precious, delicious lemonade ever. Thank you. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yum. It's so tasty. And oh so my gosh. sweet. And oh. there's how pretty it is when it's growing on your patio. The great thing is about this plant outdoors in the summer you bring it indoors in the winter so that means it doesn't matter if you live in minnesota washington state mm -hmm. indiana you can grow a meyer lemon plant that's going to produce gorgeous plump juicy fruit like that for you this year you know it normally takes lemons to they, they take about three years to start to fruit mm -hmm. we've done the waiting for you yeah you know one of my favorite uh, gardening tips is, you know, be patient and yeah. everything will fruit in due season. Well, we did the waiting for you so that you're going to get fresh fruit like that on your trees this year. Thank you for that tip. That is a great tip. Be patient, but you don't have to be that patient with this plant. And again, I've got this exact plant, this little tree growing right in the pot by my kitchen window, yeah. by my counter, by my kitchen sink. That's where I have mine in my, my little apartment. I have it in, inside in my and, kitchen. And, you know, I just give it a little water every once in a while, a little spray and flourish, spray the leaves with a little water gun, and it looks great. And I can't wait as soon as it gets warm to put it out on my patio. I know, exactly. And the great thing is about this plant is that you're receiving a three-year-old plant, and I'll mm. show you guys just in a moment why that is so special. Now, the Meyer lemons are so hard to find and they're generally you know kind of expensive yeah but well they're these are not the lemons you find at the grocery store no. they're sweet lemons okay so they are certainly not an orange you may need to add a teensy bit of sugar to your lemonade but they are much sweeter than normal lemons and Devin is showing you what's going on with yes. this plant this that is a, this, this is, is a shipping, a shipping sample sh yes exactly can you see all these all these fruit here all these fruit over by my thumb. Those are lemons you're gonna get this year from yeah. that plant. I started, I tried to count these this morning. I stopped at 50 on yeah. this one plant. This is a shift is shown. These are the plants that 
you guys are going to get it That's what home. you get. It's already that big. They're already starting to fruit in many cases. Okay, over a thousand ordered. We are busy on the lines. What we have in stock right now is all we have for the season, and it's only the middle of February. So please don't dilly dally around. If you want the Meyer lemons, they are popular every year from Roberta's. Every year they sell out. Every year we have disappointed people. So we have a few thousand of these left to go around. We started with 15,000 for the season. There's just a few thousand left, less than 5,000 now, less than 4,000 now to go around. All right, so again, yeah. juicy, juicy, have you, juicy. Have you ever gotten a lemon at the store, got home, squoze it, and there was no juice? Yeah. You don't have to worry about that with these. You might think, oh, is this little lemon attached to a, a lemon juice hose in yeah, the background? Yeah, I know. No, nope, really... it just keeps going. That's why these are so incredible. Yeah. They're so deliciously juicy mm -hmm. and plump. And this lemonade that you made. Now, did you add much sugar to this at all? Because it's just none. the right amount. You added none. none? None. It's sweet. It's because it's a, it's a mix between a tangerine okay, and wish, a normal lemon. I wish you could all taste this lemon juice, this lemonade, because I thought you put like at least Splenda or something in this. No. No sugar. Okay. You want, it you want is, a little refill? Yeah, uh, it's like, look at me drinking it. It doesn't have that puckeriness. No That's pucker. why it's so great. That's why it's oh the my chef's gosh, choice. That is like the perfect lemonade. Oh man, I better get another one of these trees. If you, if you I don't enjoy, think one's enough at our house. <laughs> I know, exactly. They make a perfect gift because... That's delicious. Everyone can, can grow this. Mm. It doesn't matter where you live in America. That is really good. Because outside in the summer, and then when the temperatures start to dip down to about 40 degrees, mm -hmm. bring it indoors, and these will start to produce flowers Your for you this summer. white flowers are really pretty. Yeah. Uh, let me just say this. This lemon is sweet. It's sweet. It's like how honey bells are different from oranges. This lemon is already sweet. So when you get it, you can make lemonade without adding. And my husband is diabetic. So I don't need so to be adding perfect. sugar to anything. I mean, this is great. So now what have you got over there in your hand? Well, I'll show you guys in just a minute. Okay. Here you can see that plant is about a year old. Now, the great thing about this lemon plant is if you don't have a big space in your inside your home, mm -hmm. Keep it in a smaller pot. The okay. size of the pot determines the size of the plant. But you'll still get lemons no matter what. Exactly. You saw on that okay. on that ship to shown that we showed earlier. It had up to 50 fruit on the fur uh, on that plant. Yeah. You can keep it in a pot that size, mm -hmm. or if you have more space, put it in a pot like that. And it'll just get bigger. It's going to produce fruit for you this first year because you're going to be receiving a three-year-old plant. That is why everyone loves this plant, and that mm. is why it sells out every year, yeah. because you can't find three-year-old plants that are ready to start fruiting for you. I can't get over how sweet this lemon juice is. I know. I thought you put sugar in it. <laughs> That's why every morning, you know, if you want to fight off that winter scurvy next year, this is the perfect plant. You go to your lemon tree in the morning, squeeze some into, into some ice oh, water yeah. like Ooh, that. lemon bars. Meyer lemon bar. Yum. We actually, we have a recipe for that in our, uh, in our, in our little growing guide. Oh, really? My that grandma comes with Roberta's, it? it was her really? favorite favorite oh, dessert. Oh, that's so mm -hmm. nice. Oh, P.S. Before I forget, everybody wants your fig jam recipe. You have oh, to send yes, it to I, me. Oh, yes, I forgot to do that. I'll, um, I'll do that later today. The fig trees are really popular, that's gonna too. It's going to be on today, actually. So, yeah. um, you guys, get this lemon tree. It's unlike any you've tried. You don't need to plant it in the ground. You don't need to have any space. You can leave it in a pot, and you'll get delicious sweet lemons with lemonade, no sugar added. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, and if you, this is perfect for your, for urban gardening apartment mm -hmm. gardening because you can put it in a pot this is the same pot that I have my Meyer lemon growing in and this is a normal you know six inch pot you mm -hmm. can keep it in here forever yeah and it's gonna create these gorgeous fruit can you see that lemon no already coming out of there look yeah. at that look at those lemons on that little guy already yes exactly this is a six month old plant that I have in my hand so give it's it a couple easy. more. You yeah. can do it. Even if you've never grown fruit before, you can do it. And you'll love the taste of these lemons. Share them with your family and friends. You'll get lemons the first year, and every year you'll get more and more. That's awesome. These are so juicy. Let's these say hi to, I'm sorry, go ahead, Devin. Oh, I was just going to say these are perfect for anything from your sweet mm -hmm. desserts to salad dressings yes, on and, veggies. And all the things, salads and fish and things cocktails. that you like to eat in the summer and cocktails and just, you know, non-alcoholic drinks. Um, absolutely delicious. You can even make uh, maybe a little lemon jam or a lemon curd for exactly. your scones. Yeah. Yum. All right, Heather in New Jersey, thank you for waiting. Are you picking up a lemon tree? Yes. Hi, I am. Uh, you'll want to you'll want to sing that lemon tree, a belly, <laughs> When you get it, it's just 
so tropical and delicious and fun to have. And I have mine right up in my kitchen right now. So exactly in New Jersey, you can when you get this now, you'll get it this year when it's warm yeah. enough. Yeah, you're but gonna... next year when you bring it in, it's not going to be like, oh gosh, now where do I put this tree in my house? Because you'll find a space for it. It's just a pretty house plant when it's not outside. Yes, I'm, I'm very excited about getting it. Um, it's the first uh, plant that I'm trying from Roberta's. Oh, but I awesome. also wanted to try one. Oh, awesome. good. Heather, you're starting with a really popular one. It's been a big hit. Yes, and I'm excited. My daughter, she'll eat lemons right right off the tree. She loves them. Just oh. cut them up and give them to her. Well, they're good. And honestly, these lemons, I know some people actually can, like sour lemons and, yeah. and eat them, but this lemon is sweet. And you can even eat the peel on these lemons because the peel is way thinner yeah. and it's actually edible and quite tasty. Yeah, and that's great if you're doing a lemon zest, you know, just as part yeah. of a recipe. I mean, it actually tastes better. There's no bitterness to yeah. it. Actually, I have a question. Okay. Um, since the delivery date is uh, June 1st, how far along will the fruit be by the time I get it? Good question. Well, there's a good chance many of the plants that we're shipping out will have fruit just like I was showing on this plant. There'll be like little green ones already yeah. coming out. Oh. And then you want to keep it outside in the summer and they'll start to produce uh, these really richly fragrant flowers in the summer, bring it indoors in the winter, and it should start fruiting for you actually inside your home this next winter. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm so excited about this. Now, Deb, oh, hang on, Heather. Devin, now, do I wait till they're a bright yellow before I pick them? What color should they be? You know, we, we, picked, we picked these off of the, the, uh, the tree actually earlier today, and this will continue to ripen. Okay. It was a little bit more green, but even still, this is as juicy as they so come. So it's like a light green starting to turn yellow. Yeah, and then you, you can leave them on and they'll continue to ripen, Kay. pull them off, they'll, they'll ripen that way too. Excellent, okay. Heather, you're gonna have fun with this. Yes, I am, I'm, I'm, I can't wait to get my hands on it. Well, thank you for <laughs> shopping with us and thank you for trying Roberta's. Thank you so much and you have a great day. You too, dear. Thanks, Heather. Bye-bye. Okay, bye, bye. So we have a quantity update. We started the season with 15,000 of these trees. We have 2,000 left for the season. There are no more coming in. This is all we were able to secure from Roberta's for the 2015 gardening season, which means you'll have to wait till 2016 before we this, get more yeah. Meyer lemon trees. This is the last citrus that we yes. offer all year. So come on in and get it. If you want a lemon tree from Roberta's, proven winners, these guys sell plants and especially fruit trees that actually grow and produce fruit. Exactly, this first year. It's not hard. You you're getting a three-year-old plant that's mm -hmm. ready to start fruiting for you this first season. Yep, and boy, wait till you squeeze that first glass of lemon juice. Don't put sugar in it. You don't you need it. Be, you know, you're automatically putting sugar in your lemonade. Not in this case. Just drink it right out of the fruit. Just it, eat the fruit like an orange. Exactly. That would be awesome. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you live in the country. You can grow this Meyer lemon plant. Now here is...